Could you imagine if aliens existed? What? <laughs> I feel like I feel we need, like we need Neil deGrasse Tyson up in here, dude, to, to school us. What happens is Our light is continuously expanding, and so then he always does that shit. I'm Neil deGrasse Tyson, bitch. When he explains, <laughs> man, Zoolander two, you you came around to it. I refuse to watch it again, <laughs> dude. Let's let's hang out soon. Well, let's watch it. It's, no, we'll it's do a good. double feature. We'll do Delta Farce and then Zoolander two. After the last podcast with the, <laughs> the Delta Farce talk, like, I really do. Yeah, you were coming to me. He's like, dude, are you free this week? Like, I, I want to go watch it. <laughs> you really want to watch I Delta really want to watch it, man. You've never experienced it. I've seen it twice or, like, two to three times. So my 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 first exposure to it was my cousin, Forrest, was, like, was always quoting it when we were growing up. He thought it was so funny because there's a scene where they're in an airplane and somebody farts. And he's like, who fucking farted? Or something like that. Or who the fuck farted it? And I remember, like, he told me that line, and I, like, laughed my ass off because I thought it was so funny. And here I am with the same sense of humor at 23. What, what about the joke where uh, um, Larry the Cable Guy pulls open the tarp from the truck after it fell out of the plane, and then it's like... Nah, I don't spoil two, too two much other, for me. Two, no, I'm not... It's only a joke. Two dudes are cuddling. And he goes, What in the Sam hell? And then they go... What he goes? What was going on here? They go, don't ask. And the other one gets up and goes, don't, don't tell. tell. It's good. That's it's good. That's that's that that's a profound uh, social statement about our military. It's hilarious to be gay and then because of homophobia to hide it from your superior officers because they're afraid that you're gonna fuck them in the middle of the night or something. I knew this guy growing like you're up. Some wildebeest. Like you're some fucking <gasps> creature. Oh god! <laughs> I hear him scurrying a, around. Do out we here. have a gay among us? <laughs> Dude, like, 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 a, like a horror movie where they're trying to figure out which one it is. Like, where it's like one of us is a monster. Wait, do you hear that? <laughs> it's the gay! I, um, I, I, I would like to grow facial hair one day. I really you would. Trying. I mean, I had the mustache. Y'all remember the mustache. The mustache was, you know. You just don't have much gray here. I don't grow it. I'm trying to figure out how to uh, put this. Um, it's like reverse mutton chops. I don't grow it in one specific patch on both sides of my face in the same place, where which keeps me from growing a full beard. It's almost like uh, my my facial hair is playing hopscotch, where it's coming down right here, and then it's like whoop, let's uh, let's do the outer skip and not not touch the the middle squares, and then just keep going. <clears throat> it just completely skips right here. Looks fine though. I think a lot of guys have that issue though. Um, where it doesn't grow right here. If you're a bitch. Yeah, you know what? It means I have a low testosterone level and, a, and an incredibly low sperm count. One and I'm fine with to, that. One of us has to carry the load. You do. I, Ryan, I guarantee your sperm count is infinitely higher than mine. I just feel like you you, you emit testosterone <laughs> at such a higher do level I? than I. Do I come up as a person that emits testosterone? No, not as a person that emits testosterone, but... I mean, looking at you, it's clear that you have more testosterone coursing through your veins than I do, or ever will. You gotta love those Middle Eastern veins, dude. I know. It's the it's those uh, I got those shitty little Irish jeans. It's those homophobic Middle Eastern jeans of mine. You know, they really do wonders. The more homophobic you are, the thicker and coarser your hair is. If you look at pictures of people, you might actually find that to be true. <laughs> <laughs> If I get the beard, it proves I'm not gay. <laughs> Could you grow? I, I wonder, like, what the extent. I, don't, I need a beard. My mouth looks like a butthole. Gay people might want to fuck it. <laughs> <laughs> I actually, I have noticed. I look at pictures of myself. I feel like I've gained a little bit of weight this year. But weight is in, like, age weight. As I'm getting older in my 20s. Like sagging weight? Not sagging weight, but, like, kind of just more of, like, a natural weight gain. Yeah. I've noticed, like, if I look back at pictures of myself, from, like, two years ago, I'm a lot skinnier, but... I don't know how to describe it. It doesn't look like it's not like I'm I'm not getting muscle and I'm not necessarily getting fat, but it's more of just kind of like my body's becoming more heavy, a little heavier. Okay. Like slightly, slightly, like a little more uh, normal. You're definitely looking. not as thin as you were when I first met you. I was a skinny motherfucker. You were. I I mean I still you were am. comically skinny. But like now you're just skinny. See, I, skinny. Did, I didn't have any of this. No. It was like straight up just. Skin and bones. I was a little stick man. You're turning into a man. I could. I'm finally growing some hair on my face. Yeah. Getting some hair under my arm. I remember the first armpit hair I ever got. I was going to turn off the light, uh, like 
because I have one of the lights in my bedroom that, you know, has the string hanging down. Mm-hmm. I was going to bed. So I had to my sh- I had my shirt off and I reach up to turn it and I look down at my arm and I see I see this incredibly small, slightly dark hair. And you're like, <gasps> I was like, <gasps> I actually freaked out. I was like, like, I'm a man, I'm a man, no, I'm a man. No, it's actually quite the opposite. I was like, I was like, I don't want to grow up yet. I ripped it out. <laughs> you ripped it I out. I did, yeah, I was freaked in out. In protest of aging. I was like, I was, I was like, I'm going to stop puberty. the process of aging. Because I thought that if I hit puberty, I would be like. A freak? A different person. And I really liked being like young and free. And I was like, no. And I ripped it out. I, I had this weird thing about growing up. Did you up keep it was, in a little glass case? No, dude. My I threw first it away. armpit hair. I remember uh, then I found, I got, I got toe hair and I was like, no, and I shaved it off. Because for a while, I just had this weird, you like. You shaved off your toe Dude, hair? I had this weird, like, Peter Pan complex where like I was this like. this affliction to aging? Yeah, I was like, I was like, I don't want to grow up. <laughs> I want to stay the age I am. I, and I had to have been like 12 or 13. I was like, I was like no. I remember, I remember noticing the hair growing on my fingers and I was like, that's weird. Same. That I was remember, like back in high school, possibly. I was playing, the first time I was playing Nintendo DS at night and I could see it in the dark, like. Because the screen was the mm-hmm. only thing lit You're up, like, and I, I could see. It. I was like, oh. like I, I start. I remember I was perplexed me. by it. I was looking. I was like, is that normal? So then, like, I I would sneak like a look at, at big old Jim's hands, and I'd be like, oh, oh, okay. Jim's I guess big I'm gorilla mitts. Yeah, his <laughs> big old meaty hands, his big claws. I feel like Jim has very gorilla esque hands. Like if you look at a gorilla's hand and you look at Jim's hands, I feel like Jim's they're... definitely got man hands. I th- let me see your hands. You have you have you have good man hands. You have very like solid, I have soft man hands. No, but your man hands are like I said this before. You kind of have a, a hand model type hand where my my hands are. Look at these, man. Do you see like I know what hand you can see every ligament? You you have very nice shaped fingers, very proportionate, uh, very 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 man hands. Where I have I have more more woman hands. I have Just more, long slender fingers. And like I do no, this, like you have like aunt fingers. <laughs> I have aunt fingers. Yeah. Like middle aged aunt. <laughs> yeah. You have I mean, I, I can't disagree. I cut my hand, like, kind of like, if you just saw this hand, if I painted my nails and grew them out a little bit, you'd be like, oh, that's like a, like a 45 year old aunt's hands. Dude, you could, um, be a hand model, like, get, get it made up. You could be like a walking dead hand model. Dude, you would be perfect as a, as a, as a zombie in The Walking Dead. Hire me for the Walking Dead, then, guys. Please, Do it. Just, I, someone who works on the show's got to be listening. Yeah, I, I know the Walking Dead isn't as big as it was. And I will you do it. Need though, reason for, free. for people to watch. Here's a good reason to get that younger audience. If y'all fly me out and do all my makeup and put me on the Walking Dead, I will. I will absolutely do it for free. I can be a fat zombie. I will. Uh, yeah, absolutely. That moment when you're showrunners of a possibly historic TV show. That's very important to just entertainment culture, and then, and then you you rush it to go to go work for Star Wars, but then they don't even want you, and so you go work on a Netflix thing instead. You talking about Ryan Johnson? <laughs> no, I'm talking about uh, is the name Ryan or Ryan? No, not Ryan. Ryan Johnson did because uh, he he did Breaking Bad too. Yes, I'm talking about uh, D and D. They are uh, David and. Doofus Benny off Dobrik? Whatever, whatever David Dobrik name. worked on Star Wars. <laughs> David Dobrik? David Dobrik mouth open? David Dobrik, the businessman? David David Dobrik with mouth ajar? <gasps> should... I gave friend I gave friend Bentley. <laughs> I gave friend five blowjob. How and a I, Bentley. How can I become <laughs> friends with David Dobrik? Because if I had a friend that made YouTube videos and was like, oh, I gave my friend a McLaren, it's like, okay. I'll be friends with you. <laughs> Can we start doing that to each other? The surprise video was like, I surprised, I surprised my friend with like a used 2004 hatchback. <laughs> Giving my side piece a used Honda Civic. <laughs> <laughs> you won't believe a her 2009 reaction. 2009 Honda Civic. <laughs> Dude, I want to do, I really want to surprise you soon with a gift for a video. <laughs> like a, like a, like a 2002 Mini Cooper that has like 200,000 miles on it already. <laughs> and it's like, wow, thanks man. That's awesome. Surprising my friend with a studio apartment in Arkansas. I've just learned about a website, Ryan. Yeah. That basically can write fan fiction for you based using a neural network processor. So I can type something and the neural network will guess what comes next. So I'm going to write a little story about you. Okay. Ryan McGee 
from Super Mega was sitting on the couch with his friend, Matt Watson. I just got to give it a little prompt. Okay. Suddenly, Ryan became erect. Ooh. Complete text. All right, let's see if this works. <laughs> At first, he thought maybe he was getting aroused, but then it <laughs> dawned on him he was hard and started jerking off. <laughs> What? As Matt watched, his friend looked over at Ryan and saw the huge bulge in his pants. Ryan said he couldn't believe that he had such a large erection. And Matt <laughs> looked at him wondering where Ryan was going with this. Matt said that Ryan's hands started to move faster and faster until Ryan was going at least double hard. Then Matt said that Ryan's erection almost came free and Ryan didn't want to stop. <laughs> Matt said that Ryan's penis kept twitching uncontrollably as he was jerking off, but that Matt thought he looked just like a porn star, so he didn't stop. So wait, is that an AI, AI just wrote that? Okay, can I give you Holy a Holy shit. I, can I do a prompt now? That's incredible. Yeah. Okay, I want to do a prompt. What this the is hell? Fun. This is fun. That was incredible. Okay, okay. Ready? You're going to type this in. Okay, yeah. Matthew Watson. Okay, Matthew. How did he do that? Matthew Watson. Of super mega fame. Of super mega fame. Was hanging out with his beautiful mother. Was hanging out with... His beautiful mother. He looked down and blushed. He looked down and blushed. That's it. Okay, here we go. <laughs> Let's see what it writes. Matthew Watson of super mega fame was hanging out with his beautiful mother. He looked down and blushed. <laughs> the girl beside him said, don't look down, and turned her back to the camera. It is clear this was no innocent flirtation. She's doing something inappropriate with the boy. I was so upset and disgusted that I couldn't take the camera to my room. I called my dad to see what to do. I was furious. I called my dad and he said to me, if you don't have anything against this girl, just leave the room. And I did. My dad said something to me in the car as we were driving home. He told me I could have done something wrong, but that I shouldn't have been so angry. He said it would be much easier to forgive her if I had... That, that's it. That's it. And it's there. <laughs> Dude, this is incredible. Holy shit. Let's each do one more. This is fun. Okay, okay. So put one more in. This is, we got two more funny, funny little stories coming up. Ryan McGee <clears throat> arrived home. <laughs> he opened the front door and was met with a shock. His dog, Lego, had left him a steaming pile of feces on the kitchen floor. Ryan was furious. Let's see where this, let's see where it takes this one. You gave it a lot to work with. I know, I know. <clears throat> okay. <laughs> no, no, you got to read it as, okay. as you're experiencing it. Ryan McGee arrived home. He opened the front door and was met with a shock. His dog, Lego, had left him a steaming pile of feces on the kitchen floor. Ryan was furious. He decided to post a picture of the mess on Instagram. <laughs> See below. I am not a great dog, Mom, I admit. The dog was outside in the yard for hours. He had to be on a lead. He was never in any way supervised. His house was littered with trash and debris. In the picture, he looks so happy and safe with his family. I'm now thinking that I should do something to help with the dog's care. I don't have the time resources or energy to care this for this all dog. Instagram this dog was my only fan was my only family he had i know i am a bad mommy and i know i don't deserve <laughs> to be a bad mommy i have given this dog enough it is up to me to do <laughs> so i give lego up because he poops and i'm a bad dog mommy. You, you, you're a bad mommy okay. dude how did that first fan fiction was incredible though. i know Here. I, okay i got one I you, you want to write one out yeah, let me, let me, let me delete out. it real quick. And remember, the new <laughs> iOS has swipe texting. For those who don't know, you can swipe text. It's amazing. Even though Android did have it in like 2000. Matt Watson arrived home. I'll kind of use the same start. Arrived home to find Jackson and Harrison. Ooh, more characters. Having sex. In the shower. Ooh. Matt ran to his room so he 
<clears throat> could hear just what was happening. Perfect. All right. Okay. Let's generate it. It's generating. Oh, this one's short. Oh, no, I keep scrolling. Okay. It'll load more. Matt Watson arrived home to find Jackson and Harrison having sex in the shower. Matt ran to his room so he could hear just what was happening. Harrison then stripped naked and began performing oral sex on Jackson. <laughs> <laughs> Jackson then told Matt to get a knife from the kitchen and cut his throat. <laughs> Jesus what? Christ. Wait, really? Yeah, Jackson then stabbed him with the knife and said that he was going to kill him with it if he did not let Harrison do it with her. What? <laughs> Jackson then took her panties and put them on before heading out the back door to the front. <laughs> Matt and Harrison followed them out and found them lying on the road. Jackson told Matt that she wanted to kill him and Harrison with the knife. <laughs> Matt pleaded with Jackson not to do it, but she still did. Matt tried to get Jackson to stop, but she refused and said she wanted to kill them both. Matt then, Matt then grabbed Harrison and forced her to the side of the road while Jackson fled the area. Yeah. Damn, that's like a fever dream. I know. I like how that started with like Harrison starts getting his brother to suck him <laughs> off. And then all of a sudden this like murder thing comes and out. Jackson of nowhere. goes Jackson by her. Wants me to cut my throat. Jackson goes by her, right? I guess so. It, dude, that made no fucking <laughs> that was incredible. That was fucking glorious. I think that first one was the one that made the most sense though. Yeah, that one was just like from start to finish. Uh like just absolutely flawless. Oh God, there's so many good. I'm just gonna give it one sentence. Ryan McGee has become erect. <laughs> he has no problem with that, and neither does anyone else. His girlfriend has no problems with it either, but no one else seems to either. They've been dating for almost a year now. She's a good guy. <laughs> <laughs> the problem is that he is so incredibly hard to please that he often gets into arguments with her that end up getting him suspended from his job, and he's been kicked off a few more times because of them. I would recommend that you give this man the benefit of the doubt until the end. He's a good guy with good intentions. Did you write this, Ryan? No. He might also want to keep an eye out for his friend, <clears throat> but it's not really his fault. Wait, is that about me? You might also want to keep an eye out for his friend, but it's not really his fault. The most bizarre part of this situation is that the guy who was going to be taking care of him was on his way to work the next day. The police department was on full lockdown. <laughs> Damn. Uh, let me give one, one, one more. One. one more. I'm... Just to match it with, because you did a simple sentence. Give me a simple sentence, bro. Okay. Matt's, no, should I just say, Ann Watson. Why you got to bring my mother into this? Pussy Ryan? stinks. Oh, my God. <laughs> That's what I'm going to say. <laughs> okay, here we go. Ann Watson's pussy stinks. In her first appearance in the series, Penny meets the... Penny meets the girl who will be her love interest and the only person who will have a relationship with her in the gang as a whole. Her character is a lot more developed. What the fuck is what? this? Her, her character is a lot more developed and we got to know her a lot more. What is it writing? Penny is not a slut and neither is she an easy target. She will not be able to just go in for the kiss and then immediately turn her back on it when she finds out she doesn't like it. We saw Penny's character grow over time. We what saw her get hell? into trouble. We saw her have... We saw her have to work through some of her personal issues that had been lingering on her for years. She will not be able to be a victim forever. The only way to survive is to fight. Penny is an equal. She will not allow herself to be dominated by anyone ever. And she'll do everything she can to keep herself out of danger and keep. Dude, that 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 was like a Netflix series <laughs> I, synopsis. I, I, I love the first. I, I love how everything else is about Penny, but the first sentence in this story is <laughs> Ann Watson's pussy stink. Now you don't know that. You don't know that. <laughs> Where are my grapes? What grapes? The ones I left here. I put them in the second drawer to the right of the fridge, and now my grapes are gone. I did. I didn't touch them. I I I thought that too, but this has happened before. So what I did is I I started a company that specializes in making grape looking tracking devices, and so I put one of those grape tracking devices in that bag of grapes, and I looked, and it said it was at your house. Now it could have been anybody. It could have been Harrison. It could have been Jackson. Or it could have been you. It was Harrison. 
the point still remains that someone in your household stole my grapes. Am I the keeper of my house? I am the you're keeper of talk... my grapes, and I'm. Well, you're gonna have to talk to, to them this. about it. I didn't. I didn't fucking touch your grapes, dude. Okay, we'll see if the stories the stories match up. Because um, Harrison had some pretty damning things to say about you, but well, I'll, I'll ask. I'll, I'll talk to Jackson. He seems to be the middleman in all this. We'll see. We'll we'll see where the truth lies. Where my grapes are. You have to do this on the podcast. I'll you cut it out. I'll have, cut you it have out. To air this dirty fucking no, laundry. No, I'll cut it out. Well, then uh, take your fucking well, grapes, dude. Just, just, it's a fucking bag of grapes. Yeah, it, it it's oh, my three, bag of three grapes. dollars. It's my Trader it's Joe's. my bag of grapes. Yeah, it's your bag of grapes. I'll go buy you some more. Then why don't you just buy yourself some bag of grapes instead of taking my bag of grapes? Because I didn't know it'd be a big deal. I didn't. So you did take no, my no, bag no, of grapes. That was grapes. that was an admission of guilt. That was not an admission. See, I caught you in my Jordan Peterson mind game traps. Jordan Peterson is my fucking Obi Wan. He's my, pa- I'm the Padawan to, I'm his Padawan. Happy Thanksgiving weekend, Americans. And if you're not American. It is Thanksgiving. What day is Thanksgiving? 28th. But everyone's on Thanksgiving break right now. Unless okay. you're not American, then fuck you. So this, this podcast is exclusively for American citizens. If you're not an American citizen, you do not have the right to listen to this podcast. And Hong episode. Kong uh, citizens, because uh, they know the definition of freedom. That's true. Yeah, they can, they can Unlike listen to this Germany, also. Germany. Fuck you, Germany. It's like, fuck you. Ger- Ger- Germans are like, y'all still holding on to that. Come on. Sprechen Sie Deutsch, motherfucker. We outlawed that shit and everything. We we held trials. Well, that's too bad. <laughs> yeah, I saw a video uh, on uh, a subreddit you introduced me to that I'm so glad you did. It's a hold my feeding tube. And it's just this like, I think it's this dude on drugs and his head is on fire and he's just like walking around just chilling. And it's like, what the fuck is What? Dude, drugs are scary, man. I know. If drugs can literally make your head be on fire. Well, the, his head wasn't on fire because- <laughs> He it- took a drug and his, <laughs> and his head burst in the flame. Ah, shit. It's one, of the, it's one of the negative sides effects of drugs. No, but like- You're like, about to take a hit of weed. He's like, this is good stuff, right? It's like, it's not mixed with anything? Yeah, of course. <laughs> <laughs> That's why you shouldn't smoke pot, guys. Um, there's a there's a point oh two percent chance that your head will spontaneously combust. I would never smoke marijuana if if that would. That's that's too big a chance still because it's so small. I think like point oh two, but crazy, 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 crazy coincidences always happen that that defy all odds in this universe. So it's like like us existing. I think someone did math once to figure out like, well, us. What do you mean us existing? Because that's just because our parents fucked. No, 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 no. I mean, like, uh, we'll see that. Even that's crazy because I never thought my parents would do such a simple act. <laughs> yeah, okay. Uh, 